Down. Down. Loop. A loop. D loop. D loop. It's kind of really hard. Can you help me, mommy? Loop a doop. Loop a doop. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. This video is going to be my homeschool routine with my toddler, Zaya. She's almost three years old. She'll be turning three on April 7th. And this is just taking you guys through the first half of our day when I like to incorporate some educational activities. So I call it homeschooling, but because she is only two going on three years old, she's really not school age yet. So we're not doing any strict curriculum or anything like that. It's more so just a fun way to bring some education into the household also because she does actually go to a Montessori preschool three times a week and it's actually a Spanish immersion preschool so she's learning Spanish and learning lots of fun stuff at school three times a week but for those other two days when she's home with me this is our little homeschool routine where's your step stool <laughs> Your Hello Kitty toothbrush and the Peppa Pig toothpaste. Can you turn the water on, Mommy? Squeeze it. Say ah, and get the other ones. There you go. Cheese. <laughs> You ready to go downstairs and get some breakfast? What do you want to eat for breakfast? I want to eat um, chips. Chips? Is that it? You know for breakfast we have to have something kind of healthy and kind of balanced, okay? We're not having snacks for breakfast. Do you want Huh? I don't want something balanced. <laughs> you have to have something balanced. I'm working on trying to get Zaya to understand like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack and the differences between the types of things that we eat for those different meals. You know, we have breakfast food, we have lunch food, we have dinner food, and then we have special things that we can have for snacks sometimes. But she's still asking for chips and things for breakfast. And I'm like, that's not a breakfast food. Mommy, <laughs> Balanced. Yes, we have to eat something balanced. So let's have some fruit, maybe some raspberries. No, not pasta. Pasta is not a breakfast food. We have to save that for lunch, maybe. But we can have some cereal with almond milk. How about that? That'll be good. We have some Cheerios. No, we're not getting the iPad right now. We're not starting the day off with iPad today. Okay, you know that. I've been telling you that. Okay, how about this? We can watch a TV show while we eat breakfast, but after we're done with breakfast, we're turning the screens off, okay? And when you wake up from nap, that's when you can have your iPad and stuff, okay? I've been telling you that. We're not gonna start the day off with the iPad first thing in the morning. Yes, iPad addiction is real. I mean, I can't really talk much because I know I'm addicted to my phone and whatnot. And I'm, I mean, I do social media for a living, so I'm constantly looking at some type of screen all day, whether it be my phone, my computer, whatever it is. And Zaya loves her iPad. She loves to watch YouTube Kids, which by the way, yes, I have heard about the scary Momo freaky thing that's going around. I know about it, I heard about it. It's actually a, um, 
It was going around like years ago as well, but um, I do not let Zaya watch her iPad unattended. I don't let her just roam free on YouTube. We have very specific um, kids channels, like legit kids channels that I let her watch. And, you know, just trying to keep a hold on her screen time and what she's watching and what she's seeing on there. All right, a little bit of Nick Jr. Hey, Dougie is on. Nick Jr. is nice and wholesome and educational in the mornings. I'm just gonna make myself some coffee to start off with with my little Keurig machine. And I'm also gonna make myself some oatmeal. I like these little Kathleen's oatmeal cups. Yes, I know you don't like oatmeal. That's why you have cereal. And you need to eat it. You have to eat so that you won't be saying you're hungry in like 20 minutes. Zaya is doing a lot better with her whole picky eating, not wanting to eat phase that she was going through where like she literally just didn't want to eat anything no matter what it was. Even if it was pizza or chocolate cake, she was just like, you know, wanting to exercise her right to say no. And so we went through a very picky eating phase, but now she's starting to do a little bit better. She's starting to, you know, be happy to eat a lot of different types of foods rather than trying to like force it and it being a big fight every time at mealtime. I'm full. You're full. You did a good job eating. Pretty much ate it all. Can you go put your dishes in the sink? Carefully. Don't spill it. There you go. All right, so we finished breakfast. We watched one episode of Max and Ruby on Nick Jr. And now it is time to turn the TV off and do some sort of educational activity. You know, turn the screens off and have a little bit of learning time, homeschool time. So TV is going off. Okay, let's do a little exercise. We have these magnetic alphabet letters that can stick to her little easel because that whiteboard is magnetic. And we have some shapes and some numbers as well. Up here, we've got the markers that go with it. If you guys have not seen the um, homeschool setup video that I did where I bought all this stuff and set it up, and talked about it in more detail, definitely check that out. Let's put the letters up there in order. So let's go ahead, can you dump all the letters out on the floor right here? Let's dump out all the letters. They're all jumbled up, we gotta put them in the right order. First letter is A. Can you find letter A? Good job. A for apple. A for apple. Apple, apple, apple. Okay, let's take these off. Okay, I think it's stuck. Okay, so let's get B and C. Where's B? Let's flip these over so we can see them. Where's B? Do you see letter B anywhere? It's kind of hard to find it. There it is. Okay, let's put it on the board next to A. So we've got A, B. Okay, let's get C. Let's get C and D so we can speed it up a little bit. Can you find C and D? A, B, C, D, E. Uh, uh, C. Okay, can you put them up there? Look, right here. Right here, oh. I already got them. Can you move them to where they go? Where do they go? E, F, G. E, F, G. Do you have F? Where's F? Right here. Okay, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E. Uh-oh. We need F right there. H I J K M M M P. <laughs> That's upside down. Does that look like an L? <sighs> yeah. Ah. What starts with the letter T? Fucking clear. What? <laughs> you, you, you start with fucking clear. <laughs> That's you for fucking. 
That's V for vacuum cleaner. V for vacuum cleaner, yes, like the vacuum cleaner over there. Put the T right here. T, U, and then V for vacuum cleaner. There you go, put that up there. T, U, V, W. X, Y, N, C. Where's W? New one. Go ahead and put it up there. Okay. Careful. Y and what's the very last one? Z for Zaya. Z for Zaya. Perfect. Now let's do another thing. We're gonna jumble them all up. We're gonna practice drawing our circles and we're gonna practice letter recognition. So I want you to draw a circle around the letter X. Which one is letter X? Can you draw a circle around it? Around it. That's a big circle. You only need to go just around the letter X. Okay, now can you draw a circle around the letter B? B for ball. Just go around the letter B. Carefully, carefully. Good job, Zaya. Now can you draw a circle around the letter R? Not yet. <laughs> Draw a circle, just a little circle all around it. Perfect! That was a perfect one. Round and round. Good job. Now we're gonna do something with the colorful cubes. These are Easy Shapes color cubes. Can you open it? It's, it's a square. They're called square. It's a square. A three-dimensional square is called a cube. Can you say cube? Cube. And if you're a good listener and you pay attention and no silliness, you'll get a treat after this, okay? But I need you to stop and listen to mommy first. Mix them up, mix them up, mix them up. Let's take out three green cubes. Three, let's start with one, just one at a time. One, two, and three. Three, now you have three green squares. Now, can you show me four purple ones? Let's do four purple cubes. Perfect. Now can we do five yellow cubes? You got five. No, you know that's not five. It's just a little low. Let's get five. How many more do you need? Let's make them five. I set. You didn't do five yet. That's not five. How many is that? I don't know. Point and count. Tell me how many that is. No, now that's too many. We just want five. One, two, three, four, five. Where's, where's five? You didn't even get it. One of the hardest things about this is the fact that she's not even three years old yet, so obviously she does not have the best attention span and it's hard to keep her attention and keep her focus on one task or one question because she easily gets distracted and just wants to play around and be a two-year-old, which is completely normal and understandable, but I have to just kind of keep her focused and keep asking her the question and try to get her to answer it before we move on to anything else. And if I see that she's getting really bored and really not focused with certain things, then I'll just stop and I'll move on to a totally different activity just to kind of keep her brain going. Okay, now that you're back from the potty, how many green ones do you have right there? Um, how many? Three, three, three. 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 Now how many purple ones do you have? Um, four. And how many yellow ones do you have? Let's see if we can find six blue ones. Okay. Can you find six blue ones? Count one by one. One, two, three, four, five. You took two. Do it again. Count one by one. No, I didn't hear you counting. Do it again. 
Wait, just count out loud when you grab it. Okay. Try again. One, two, three. No, one at a time. Don't take two at a time, take one at a time. Just take one. Okay, now count to six. One. Two. You count. Okay, start with one, do it again. One. Good. Two. Good. No, well, you, mommy. We need four more. Okay. We're trying to get to six, so count again. Okay. Count to six, get six blue ones. Okay, mommy. Six, pick one. Keep going. Okay, mommy. Two. You count. Three, one. say three. Three. And then. Okay, let's try again. Okay, point and count. Start over here, start at the beginning. And I want you to touch it and say the number. Okay, so say one, two, three, count like that. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, this is what's telling me, see how she's acting? This is telling me that we need to move on from this and do something else or give her a break because. You done with it? Okay. Cause there's certain things that I know she can do, but I can tell when she just starts acting up. Let's take a break from the alphabet and the numbers and let's just do some coloring. What color paper do you want? I want red. You red? Okay, let's take a red paper. Let's go sit down at the table and let's take crayons. So because Zaya is still really little, she's just now getting to the point where she's able to have some sort of motor skills and control over what she's drawing. Let's try to draw a triangle. A triangle is three lines. Can you hold it? I'm gonna help you. Okay, mommy. One, two, three. Let's try again. One, two, three. I can't do it. You can do it. I can't do it. You can do it. I can't do it. Just try. You never know until you try. But I can't do it, mommy. Just try. I can't do it like that. You have to try. Do one. One. Good job! <laughs> now do two. Two. Three. Three. Okay, you drew three lines. So that's a start. Okay, since you were a pretty good listener when we were doing our letters and counting cubes, you can have one Oreo for being a good listener. But that also means you have to be a good listener for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna be a good listener for the rest okay. of the day? Mm -hmm. Zaya definitely has to be in a good mood. She has to have a full tummy. If she's hungry, if she's cranky, if she's sleepy, you know, she's asking for something to eat. She's really not gonna focus on any of the things I'm asking her to do when it comes to little homeschool activities. So, you know, I make sure she eats all her breakfast. Then we do some activities, then I make sure that we stop and have a snack, and then maybe try to do a couple more things, and then go take a nap. Uh, that's you, mommy. That's me? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You, with the picture, but with your heart. Circle, and two circles for the eyes, a mouth, and the nose. And say over fire. That's you. So it's almost lunchtime now. Zaya was still sitting there coloring and eating her snack. I think now that she's like done with her snack, I want to try and do one more little educational activity. We don't need to do a full school day. We don't need to do any type of full on curriculum. This is just like a couple of things to incorporate into the day. So it's not like we need to do it all day long or cover every subject or anything like that. Put the top on, push it down on the table, push. There you go. Another thing with someone her age is a lot of the learning is just learning how to do basic things like how to put a top on a marker. <laughs> you know, it's just motor skills, everyday little things that she's still learning because she's still so little. So it's not so much about learning how to read and learning how to do math problems, but it's just practicing little everyday tasks. All right, so we're gonna do two more things for the day. First thing is this book, which we purchased from Target. It's the Scholastic Alphabet Wipe Clean Workbook. It's for pre-K, but a lot of things in here are a bit advanced for a two-year-old, but I'm just kind of doing my own thing with it and working with 
what she can do for now, just like recognizing the letters and letter sounds. Let's see if you can trace the letter A. So watch mommy do it. Okay. You see the letter A right here? Mm -hmm. We're gonna go down, mm -hmm. down, mm -hmm. and across. Uh -huh. Now that takes a lot of skill to hold the pin and control the pin. Okay. But let's just try it. And across. <laughs> That's a good start. You have to start somewhere, right? Let's erase it and try again. Watch mommy do it. Okay, mommy. Watch me. Start at the top. Down. Down. And what's next? Across. You see that? Slowly. Good. Good, that was really good. Good fun, mommy. Ooh, okay, do the last one right here. Down. There, wow, let's show what you did. She did that all by herself. Good job, Zaya. Pretty good for a for a not even pre-K'er. Watch me closely. Down. Uh -huh. Loop de loop. Okay, watch again. Down. Down. Loop. A loop. De loop. De loop. Loop de loop. Okay, I'm gonna erase it. You wanna try it? This one's kinda hard. It's kinda really hard. Can you help me, mommy? Okay, I'll help you for the first time. Down. Down. Loop de loop. Loop de loop. It's pretty good. This is letter C. C and C is for camel. 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 C is for car. Car. C is for cat. Cat. So I'm gonna put my pin on the red dot. That's where we start and we just go around. Perfect. Okay, ready? Good. Let's do it one more time. You have control over the pen. Be still. Are you following the lines? That was a perfect one. Good job. Red dot and go around. Good. Good control over the pen. Okay. Another one. That one didn't have good control. You gotta control it. Keep it, keep it where it goes. Round. Do another one. Round. Those were pretty good. You're getting better with your control. We have to figure out how to how you can hold the pin properly because her little hands are so small. There's no way she can, I feel like she can't do this yet. So I'm, I'm having her kind of go like this. She kind of wants to go like this, which I think is not helpful at all. I think at least going like this is a little better for a start, but we have to work up to actually holding it the right way. Good. Cross the red line, come and pencil. Cross the red line. Good job, Zaya! Now, you did so good with that. I want to do one last thing, and that is these Spanish flashcards. They just got pictures with simple like sight words. It says the Spanish word and it says it in English. Just simple stuff like animals, objects. We're gonna have lunch right after this, okay? Okay, mommy. I want you to sit up and be a big girl for just five more minutes. Five more minutes and then we'll be completely done for the day and you can have lunch, you can play with your toys, and then you can take a nap. 
This is just reiterating what she's learning at school. They speak to her completely in Spanish, so she's learning Spanish all day long and learning what these different objects are. So I'm just trying to reinforce and, you know, help jog her memory with what she's already learning at school and help her a little bit with her pronunciation, even though I know mine's not perfect. I'm going to tell you the Spanish word and you tell me the English word. Ready? Manzana. You already saw it. <laughs> okay, manzana. What is manzana? Manzana. What is it? Good job. Now. Globo. Globo. Globo is Aspera. No, Globo is Balloon. Good job. You remember that one. <laughs> Pajaro. Pajaro. Pajaro is a duck. No. A duck. bird. This Not a duck, but a bird. Pájaro is a bird. Say it. Pájaro is a bird. It looked like it was a duck. It looked like it was a duck? Oh, okay. But say, pájaro is a bird. Pájaro is a bird. Sol is the? Okay. What is sol? I'll say it's a sol. Sol is the sun. Sol is the sun. Say it one more time. Sol is the sun. Like Google morning. Like in the in good morning. And how do you say good morning? Good morning, like go go good morning. How do you say good morning in Spanish? Good morning. In Spanish. Natalia! Good job. Lapis. Lapis. Lapis and pesa. Good job. Casa. Casa. Casa is house. Good job. Sol. Sol. Sol is Moon. No. So is this sun. Yeah. Luna. Luna is moon. Good job. Estrella is a star. Good job. Caballo. Caballo. Caballo is horse. Horse. Good job. Pelota. 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 Ball. Good job. Bum, bum. Helado. Helado. Helado is ice cream. Good job. Elefante. Elefante is elephant. <laughs> Calcetin. Calcetin is a, is a house. No, calcetin. Calcetin. It goes on your feet. What is it? Calcetin. Calcetin. It's a sock. It's a sock. Good job, Zaya. You did so good. You almost got all of them. Good job. You know so many Spanish words. All right, so she's definitely really antsy and rambunctious now. It is time to eat lunch. For lunch, we are going to have some Italian, or I don't know if this would be Italian or Greek pasta salad. And a hot dog. Zaya just loves hot dogs. This is literally Zaya's favorite thing to eat. Hot dog and some form of pasta or mac and cheese. It's time to go take a nap. I already told you. I told you ahead of time. I said when we're done with lunch, we have to go take a nap. And then when you wake up from the nap, you can have your iPad, you can have your toys, you can pretty much do whatever you want when you wake up. But you have to go take a nap first. Because I know you're tired. I know you're tired. So let's go upstairs. Come on. Okay, night night, and we can play when you wake up, okay? All right, so now, since I spent the whole first half of the day 
doing activities with Zaya and everything like that. I am going to utilize nap time as my time to get work done. I have a video that needs to go up today and I have a little bit of um, more editing that I need to do on this video and then just make sure that this video goes up on time. I usually get about three, maybe like two to three hours cause she usually sleeps from like 2 p.m. to 4 p.m sometimes 5 p.m. So yeah, I'm just gonna work on this video and then when she wakes up, we'll go from there. Okay, so Zaya is now up from her nap and she's having a little bit of a snack and she can have her iPad now, which she's really excited about. And I'll let her watch her iPad for a little bit and then I'll tell her that it's time to put the iPad away and she can just play with her toys. So yeah, she'll just play with her toys for a little bit until dinner is ready. We'll have dinner and then we'll just do our regular nighttime routine, which I already have a separate video all about our nighttime routine if you guys wanna watch that. But yeah, that is basically our homeschool routine or in other words, just what we do at home on days when she does not have preschool. And of course it varies because some days we might go out and do something, we might need to run errands, you know, we just do different stuff. It's really not like a set structure But I just kind of wanted to share with you guys some of those little educational activities that I like to do with her So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye